this computer. Just put that like that. Yeah, get it right. Don't want to mess this is up. That, does that look right? That looks great. No, Just I've been doing. So I've much. been doing this the last couple of days like this. I've been going. Why? Try, well, your lips are try, fine. Trying to puff. I, I literally have never like, never really like looked at my lips. You got nice lips. <laughs> so do you? You gave them to me. Did I? Well, they have to be partially yours. That's how, anyway, let's not get caught up in the lips. So how have you been? Have you been well? No, I've been absolutely fine. Yes, it's gonna. It's been actually quite a nice week, really, weather-wise. It's not too bad. What, what about you? Mean? Just pissing rain the whole week? Just nice? No, no. No, for me, if it's mild, I don't mind. Right. And I know- What's your, snow. what's your, if you could live in any climate, what kind of climate would you live in? Uh, very warm. Very warm. How warm? Tropical warm? Uh. No, I quite like the California warmth, but it's the but I'd like a bit more damp in the air. A little bit a, more damp. Sure, a little more mm. precipitation in the air. Now we we were talking the other day about a trip you had to Ibiza, and will you say Ibiza? Ibiza, Ibiza. Why is that place? Why is that the only place that everyone says with a lisp? I I don't is know. Is that the right way to say it, Ibiza? That's the way I would say it. I don't know how the Spanish It would reminds say me it. of like when you go out to a restaurant with someone and they'll be like, and then can we get some enchiladas and uh, some guacamole for the table? And you're just like, you're white. What are you doing? Yes, I agree with you. I think that's all a bit silly. Yeah, like, when someone's just like, oh, we went hiking in Chile. Yeah, or soup and we went down to, Yeah, we went down to Argentina. Uh, what is your soup de jour? You know, when people like just for no reason, just have that. Like, I remember when I was, I remember when I was younger, I, instead of saying ensemble, because I, I think because I learned it in French class, I would say ensemble. Ensemble. Yes. Instead yeah. of ensemble. 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 Yes, but that, that's the French way of saying it, isn't it? Yes, but I was in Brown Deer, Wisconsin with a mullet. So it made little sense <laughs> for me to be like ensemble. Uh, exactly. Sounds nice when you say that. And Thank I know you. you're very supportive. Wait a minute. There's something else. Um ever since uh, you complimented me, your lips have gotten bigger. It's weird. Have they? Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's the way you're looking at me. Thank I think you. you're looking at me with a little bit more trying to respect my thin lips and make Thank me feel you. good. Your thips. Uh what were you gonna say? <laughs> um, there used to be another phrase that I used to find really strange. I know another one. Um entrepreneur. Um, entrepreneur. When, I know, but the way Americans say it, they go entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Well, we want to combine it. It's it's that's if you that's if your dream job is in the horse manure business. You're an entrepreneur. <laughs> um. So, uh, what else has been going on? Have you stolen any vegetables this week? No, um. Well, that was a quick. That was a quick. Oh, oh. Had I done six potatoes last week? Had you done six potatoes last? So now it's just you're talking oh. about them like robbery jobs. Like, had I done? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, had, no, you... I don't think so. I think on, on Monday I might have taken six potatoes. So you're still but... living off of the fat of the previous grift. It was, and I, and I noticed today that the, um, that the farmer was in there today. It's very muddy because we've had quite a lot of rain and I didn't think I should. Well, last year I went in the field uh -huh. and I... Duck. It was like quicksand, and I and my boots came off in the mud. Were you with your sister? No, I was on my own. You were on your own, caught bootless in a farmer's yeah. farm, mudded. Yeah, and with I had a bag to... full of stolen contraband veg. Well, I was I was a bit panicked by then. I did get I did manage to get them because I thought, well, you know, now I've got them. But I had to get my feet back in my boots. A lot of people call you the vegetable Indiana Jones. How do you feel about that? I suppose there's some truth in that. Mind you, one of the comments you read to me when you were reading out the comments, and it's quite right. Um, it's uh, he said scrumping. Yes, someone I, I did I did tell that person on Instagram. I read you some of the comments because you were yes. a little curious, and one of them said that what you were doing was called scrumping, and you agreed that you were you are scrumping. It, now, Nigel, my brother-in-law, who's from Scotland, said that it's gleaning. It's that, not scrumping; it's bloody gleaning. Gleaning, yeah, right. and he said that that I'm not actually um, 
doing anything naughty. Well, Hillary oh. and I are. <laughs> so, so you have you now could. you have an enabler too. <laughs> what, what is, what, I'm just, we, we'll move on very, but, but I'm curious what his rationale is behind the idea that you're doing, what, what is the theory? Uh, well, he, just, he just said that once the, once the farms, once the fields have been plowed and whatever is left, I hope I'm right because he listened to this, um, and whatever's left, you're not really doing anything by wrong, wrong by taking it. So. Interesting. So what, but it's not yours. What, Oh no, no, it's no. not mine. But they are, they are no, really. Don't nice you keep moving? You're doing the chair moving thing again. You're playing oh, sorry. chair DJ. Oh, sorry, it's because I'm patting my hands like that. Well, as I told you, bind the hands before we shoot. Um, I will. Okay, I will. so the weather's the weather. You've had a good week of weather. You're still yes. living <laughs> off of the fat of the previous grift. You look nice. Yes. You're worried about your lips. Your background yes. looks good. Yes, yes. Things so for the most part are good. Life's really good, isn't it? And then it sounds like now, it, when we were talking the last time we spoke, it was a little up in the air as far as what was going to happen with the president of the United States. But now it appears that Joe Biden has won, but uh, Donald Trump will not concede that he has won and is going gonna, is gonna to file some uh, frivolous lawsuits, which is very out of character. So what, is, what, is, what are people thinking over there about the state of the United States, the United State? Well, I think they just think it's it's first of all it's awful. He he's awful, and and it's it's just um, uh, it's just absolutely appalling that he won't give in and let the person that's won take over. And well, he shouldn't he shouldn't take over just yet. He's still we we've come up with this really smart system where we have like a three month holiday where the president elect and the old president. You know, the old president is able to still do whatever he or she wants for a few months, um, mm, which is a yeah. smart system. But, but no, I, I don't. In England, if there's a new prime minister, it's pretty much immediate, right? I mean, there's not like when Theresa May was leaving, when Theresa May was voted out and Boris Johnson won, I mean, he, he was in there pretty much immediately, right? I think it's quite quick. I'm not too yeah. sure, actually. I don't really sort of, um, I wouldn't know the time frame, but it's not like America where you have this yeah. long gap. Because what I, I mean, what, what's so ridiculous is that, I mean, the COVID situation in the States is so bad. And he's not, he's just sitting there eating Kentucky Fried Chicken, chicken and watching the telly, isn't he? Well, to be fair, we elect who we are. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> I think that's our best selves. But uh, no, but the, the situation in the UK is not tremendously great. With, no, with the oh, no, we just... 50,000. We deaths. had we had 200,000 new cases two days ago for the first time, I believe. Really? No, I think they were cases today, but a lot, of, but we, but 50,000 people have died so far. So that was quite, quite a high number. That's yeah, not um, great. I mean, it's not great, but <laughs> no, not America, which is oh. killing it. No, um, no. And we're, we're in lockdown now. So, um, and, what, it, and what has that, what has that changed for your life? It hasn't really changed very much because I think the thing that people miss are their social life, you know, going to the pubs and going to restaurants. And going to the farm and stealing asparagus, et cetera. That you can still do that. That's still right. open. Well, from what I hear, you're actually doing the farmer a favor. There's, yes, yes. I'm gleaning for him. You're gleaning. It's not I'm gleaning. scrumping, it's gleaning. No, no it's uh, gleaning. And, uh, and then, I'm so have you, is there a, diff, do you notice a difference since, since lockdown has started or does it sort of seem the same? I mean, no, mainly not, it's that the pubs are closed, right? Yeah, the pubs and restaurants and there's no social life. I mean, it's a bit of a shame for people where their social life in England as it is, is going to the pub. You can't go. Yeah. But for me, that doesn't, doesn't make any difference really. And you're not down uh, at the pub that much, swilling pints and eating pickled onions with the boys. I'm too busy peeling my potatoes. Yes, you're stolen potatoes. And preparing yeah. my asparagus in asparagus season is a that's very right. busy time. That's right, I'm exactly. Or to be you're swamped. In the pub. You're so swamped you may lose a boot. Exactly, exactly. And that's what the potatoes look like at the moment. They're in a swamp. Good. No idea what that means. But uh, yeah, get Donald Trump in your kitchen, he'll drain the swamp. Okay. Um <laughs> Okay, so it sounds like things for you are pretty much the same. The country is changing. Your world is maybe not changing as much. You still get to go on walks. You still get to steal your food. Um, mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you this, because when I have visited you, I'll post this video at some point, but when I visited you, 
we will go and take, you take these walks, but I'll, I'll accompany you on these long walks down a canal. And one day when we were about to go on the walk down the canal, you explained to me that there was a special goose named yes. Graham. Now Graham the goose, and, you, and what you did was you'd, you'd put in a bag a bunch of bruschetta pieces, like cr crispy bread that was from bruschetta and, uh, and something else, I don't remember what, maybe some nuts? It was something else. It was something quite else. Mm -hmm. And you'd packed this for Graham. Yes. And, and you and I were walking down the canal and we saw Graham the goose in the far, far distant, uh, the distance. And, and you called Graham. He was on land about, I would say, a quarter of a mile away. And you called Graham and he came off of where he was sitting and he walked down to the water and he came to us to see you and then you fed him. How and he came, he's, he's got his own little bridge. Well, the house has been sold and I was very, really worried about him, but they, the people that have bought the place, they've cleared all around um, the house. It's beautiful. And they, and they built him a little duck house or uh, goose house. A goose house. To, or, or a, a grouse. Right. Yes. Or a grouse. A, a grouse, house. sure. Yeah. Um, Okay, so so he's so now is he is he on lockdown? Is that what you're suggesting that Graham himself has been? Is he quarantining? Do you know? Well, I haven't heard from him. I, ha I haven't seen him, and I haven't taken him any food. I haven't had been able to have a chat with him. But he doesn't he doesn't swim as much now because I think he's just got such a good situation. Right. He's happy on his you know with it with the new perch. people. Yes. Wow. Yeah. But every once in a while you see him, and he makes a big noise, but um, but not nowhere near as much. So mm. they must be giving him bruschetta up at the main house. That's crazy. Do you think if yeah. you called him again, he would come? Have you tried? Um, I haven't actually seen him a lot. I did see him the other day because I was really worried because you worry that... You worry that, about these geese. Well, you do. And I worry about him in particular because he's such an icon of the canal. And if anything happened to him, it would be really, really sad. But I, I saw him and he was on his own because there's like a lake. He's got his own lake attached sure. to the... Yeah. And then when he comes to the canal, you know, he yeah. goes under the goes under and he comes and gets food. And, and then, so I think that they must be looking after him very well. Mm. Hopefully yes. not fattening him up for a Christmas supper. I hope not. Yes, I we all do. hope not. I mean, uh, that well, let's, let's talk. Let, what about this year's holidays? Are they going to be strange? I mean, they're obviously going to be a little different, right? Oh, yes, I think definitely. What do the English we... do on Thanksgiving? Do they just sit there and shake their fists at the sky? <laughs> No, or is that they, July 4th? Uh, no, that's July the 4th. But that, what I think is so funny is, you know, in America, Black Friday. Yeah. Well, they've started to do that here now. and that, they've, done, that they've started to basically do it in every country. Have they really? Yes. Yes. And what's also very interesting is that Black Thursday, I think it's called, was uh, to do with the Great Depression. So there's like Black Tuesday and like Black Thursday. So they were very dark days in our history. And we've embraced that now and made that when people can get flat screens. Would you ever go, would you ever go to a Black Friday thing? You, uh, like, you, you, like, you like sales more than most people though. I, I like reductions. I don't like sales. I don't like all the people. No, but I mean, that's what I mean. When something's on sale, you, that for you is very, that when, I, when you see something, when you see a two for one or a, reduced to 899 or something you something happens to you yes and you yes. load up even if you don't necessarily want the thing you're saving in your head so you acquire i'm not so, i'm not so um attracted to the um like in in england they're called bog offs the so buy one get one free i'm not so interested in bog offs Just, i thought bog yeah. offs was when you had a pooping competition with someone <laughs> but i i don't get wrapped up in that now because I realize for me unless I you've buy, matured I've matured I've got more sensible but sometimes I will do it and I'll buy one for myself and give one to Hillary because okay. then it's worth it right you know my partner in crime yes so your fellow um, veg thief yes sharing your... good the good things right. but no I like reductions I really do I love reductions particularly if it's really cheap I mean the other day I was so delighted I went into Marks and Spencer's and I got a little bag of oranges and they were 22 pence <laughs> I mean but what the quality of I mean but they were lovely 
They were so juicy. I got one for Hillary as well. And she said, those oranges, 22 pence, she said, they were some of the best we had. She said, the children love them. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, look, I'm not, I won't, I won't fight you. I, I understand savings. It's important, but uh, yeah. okay. But so black, so England also celebrates black Friday. And I think they start to do black Monday or something. I think they, they basically into- all, they all do it. It's, it's a very, <laughs> bit- yeah, it's, it's, I think now they've sort of turned it into a weekend thing and there's, you know, there's all these black and then there's Amazon prime day and all these things. And, you know, the truth is that you want people to be able to save money and, um, and things like that. But there is just something particularly, I guess, uh, a little dark about the idea that people are so uh, desperate for savings that this day becomes almost like uh, the running of the bulls, but for electronics or, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's a, in a way it, it's, it would be nice if it felt like people could save money in their lives instead of having a day or a few days when they can just really when they capitalize. Do. Yeah. I hear it used to be, and it's not so big anymore. It used to be the January sales. You know, January was always a big time. Well, Christmas is right around the corner. So you want to get the yeah. sales in. Yes, exactly. Ready for ready for the following year. I remember going to a Harrods January sale. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> There's not a Harrods near you though, is there? No, no, in London. In London, yeah. That's in London, yeah, that was years ago, yes. But I remember going. It was just unbelievable. Harrods is quite an experience. I love Harrods. I'd like to live Listen by Harrods. You. You'd like to oh. live by Harrods. Oh, I want a little muse house by Harrods. So <laughs> bad. Why? Why? Because you can go into Harrods and get a lot of I discounts, lo- get a lot of bug offs. Oh, no, the hot chocolate there is so lovely in their little cafe. Oh, it's so nice. And the food hall is to die for. The food hall is very crazy. Oh, it's beautiful. No, it's lovely. But yeah, yeah, but anyway, it will never happen. But that that, that would be. (laughs) Well, the next, maybe the next time I'm there, we'll go to Harrods once. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. We'll stay right right down there. What we could do is I could find a hero and we could have, we could do a night in a hotel and then the next day go to Harrods and then drive back. Yes, and then we'll have and we'll have we'll have what? Champagne in Harrods. They got a champagne bar in the food hall. Great. We'll go there. We'll oh. get we'll get rip shit on Harrods champagne, and we'll start. Yes. We'll steal their vegetables and do a lot of bugging off. And we'll buy one or two things, and we get the Harrods shopping bags. I love those. Good. Good. They're lovely too. Good. Yes. 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 I've Good. got quite simple. simple um, what's the word? Demands. Yes, it's yes. You yes. Sim- simple, uh, simple tastes. Simple tastes. That's yeah. it. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. Well, as we've as we've been ought to do, we we've been looking at some pictures during the pandemic. Yeah. Yes. Do you have? I've got a few today. Do you have some? Well, I I do because I um because you told me to pick a few of me. Well, yes. I've got a great. I've got a great big stack, of course. All right. Well, but... we're not going to do the whole stack. No. Now, I now know. I know you've been. Now, w- one of the photos you've been trying to find that's eluded the family for a long time is a picture oh. of me in the fireplace eating coal. And yes. you had a big look around for the me eating coal picture and you've not been able to find it. I've gone through the whole suitcase and there must be, oh. And when, I, be- and when I was a child, I ate a lot of coal. I ate a lot of sand. You and did. then we thought the other day that I ate cigarettes too. But it turns out that that's your other son, Nick, was the cigarette Nick. eater. He ate them. They're not, you know, when out of the packet, they were they weren't right. used. No, no, God forbid. No, he's not crazy. No. He would just no, eat the no. whole cigarette, not the exactly, small exactly. amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He um, liked he did the tobacco. So. Well, here, let me let me. I'll start with this since we're talking about my eating habits. Now, this is this is what I appeared to be like as a child. Uh, now, that's you, so sweet. Uh, that's what you say, but it really is an unattractive child, right? You, you, you've, yeah. you've been pretty open. You've been pretty open saying that as a baby, I was not the cutest child. No, you say it, and then you make try to make me agree. You keep you, saying you told me was you told me that one time you took me into a McDonald's as a baby, right? It wasn't a Mc- no, oh, what it was, was it? A- it was um, uh, a fitness center. And a fitness center. And that you peeled back the curtain to reveal the little freak in the, in the stroller. And that these women <laughs> didn't 
know how to react because they didn't think I was good looking. And one said, he's got great eyebrows. Yeah, it, they looked and they went, oh, nice eyebrows. Which as a baby is one of the, I would say I've never even noticed a child's, like you just look at other things. That's right, that's right, yeah. And I've, yet when this, when this popped up, they were like, whoo, <laughs> the fuck are we gonna say about this thing? Oh, you were very sweet. I've got one of me somewhere as a baby. All right, let's have a look. Yeah. Wait a minute. Nope, How do nope. I do that? There you go. Uh, that... no, you're playing chair DJ again. Oh wow. Okay. And are you you're the, the sassy little one posing in the in the back? Uh, little one. And that's my older sister. Oh, you're the little one and the one behind you is your sister. Yeah, that's Angie. Okay. And, and I'm in the front. And you're so I, the front. I wasn't very sweet. You so... were you were sweet. Uh we'll we'll yeah, you showed some pictures last time and you were very, very sweet. All right, you can put that down. I we'll, was unusual. We'll, you can put it down. Okay. Uh, now, do you want to see one? Um, what, what, to see was, one? what was it like when, when you were a baby, in, like a child in England? What was it like growing up like that? Was You, weren't, you were not a very rich family. No. Uh, you no, were a poor we were family. Poor family. Poorish. Poor Poorish. <laughs> and, uh, and you ate porridge. So that's where that comes from. But... Uh, yeah. But you, so you, what was what was that like? Did you have a good childhood? Would you say? I yes, we did. Dad, dad was a salesman and he traveled quite a bit. What did but, he sell? Uh, he sold all sorts of things. He sold food, a lot of food. He he went and worked for food companies. And I wonder um, if there's any tie-in between him selling food and your mind for discounts and your five-fingered farmer fist. Yeah, well, he loved he loved his discounts and his and his free stuff. You like yeah. your five finger discounts. What are those? Where you just take it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's not uh, a discount free. That's an interesting way of looking at it. So <laughs> so he was he gone a lot? Um yes, well when Angie was born, he was still in the war because Angie was born in 1944. And so I don't know when he came back, I'm not sure. But um, but she was definitely around when he came back. That I mean, must have been really hard for him because yeah. he was away at war and then he came back and, you know, everything had changed. There was a child in the And mix. all he wanted to talk about was putting a bullet in Hitler's head and you guys are just going, could we have another yeah. slice of bread in? <laughs> could we have a lettuce leaf? Can we have another bit of lettuce? <laughs> this lettuce is strange. Well, it's called spinach. <laughs> oh, we're lucky. Shut up and eat your bread and milk. And you used to eat dog biscuits. I did once eat. Yes, I did. You I used did. to eat I, the pink dog biscuits. It wasn't. It was only once. I was really curious because I used to think um, I loved the look of the dog biscuits because they were all different colors, yellow and right. brown, and green. <laughs> and I was just brown I dog biscuit. Who doesn't salivate pink, at that image? To the pink one. And I went under the table. I think it was a tablecloth on and mom couldn't find it. <laughs> And I was chewing it. I was eating it. And you were and in the like, yard. You were in the yard pissing. <laughs> it was in the garden. It was, I mean, it was under the table. It was horrible. It was yeah. so I remember horrible. once eating cher like uh, cherry chapstick, taking a bite out of that, thinking that would be good. <laughs> because it, I, it smelled lovely and it felt nice. And then I just went, I'm going to eat this shit. And went, no. That would have gone well with the sand. I, I don't like to mix my foods like that. I'm uh, I, no, I like separate courses. I, I do an amuse bouche of some cherry chapstick. Uh, then I'll do an appetizer of a little bit of sand, and then for my main, I'll have coal. You'll and have then the at coal. the end, if I'm if there's room, I'll have a dog biscuit. And then if you ask your brother, you could almost have a cigarette after it's all done. Yes, that's right. After, after dinner, meet... after dinner with Nick, a lot of times I'll go cigarette, and he'll go, "Don't mind if I do." I'll... Yeah, yeah. It, it, well, it's nice that you shared, isn't it, the two it's, of you? We're very sweet like that. Um, okay, so, well, this kind of ties in with what we're, what we're sort of talking about. So this is you and I. Yes. Um, That's very sweet. You were very tiny. Room. Very tiny. Beautiful yeah, eyebrows. I, yes, the best. Um, and, uh, and in the back, if we're talking about background lamps, what the fuck oh, is going on with that big UFO yeah, lamp back there? It, yeah. I love that lamp. It had um had like a silver pleated lampshade. Yes, and it I think was it, all a silver pleated lampshade. And I think it had a big glass base, from what I remember. So there's there's a twelve year gap between my my brother and myself. So what was was it strange when you had another child after you'd kind of raised one pretty much fully, 
and then you had another yeah. baby. How, were you, how, how did you feel? I'm, I'm pretty sure I was not a planned child. Is that correct? I would say that was correct. Yes. 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 Constantly yeah. improv with yeah. me. Yes. And I take and move. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, and so what was it like? Um, I, I, I don't you know blocked, really. You blocked it out? It, no, no. It, it was just that, you know, I, I had a little baby and, and it was lovely. And, you liked it? You know, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You liked and it, being a mother? I liked being a mother. I, now, when I'm you not, had Nick, you were much younger. How old were you when you had Nick? 19. 19. Was that much different? Did you feel like you were in a much better position when you had me versus when you had Nick? Yeah. Because you were yes. So I, I, was, I was a very immature because um, I got pregnant when I was 18. I was a very immature 18 year old. And what and did you, what did your, what, what was at that time when you got pregnant at 18? Was that strange? Was that because. Oh, you, God. It was, yeah. So was it, what did your parents say? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I was petrified about what they would say. Yes. And when you told them, what did they say? Or did you just say, I'm putting on weight from the dog biscuits? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, I'll tell you one day. I don't You'll want tell to tell me what you. they said one day? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, interesting. Jesus Christ. Well, speaking of you around 19, how old are you in this picture? Look at this. Oh, huh? gosh. Hello. Um, Oh, um, hello. I'm probably, I would say I was probably about 19 there. I probably just had Nick um, at that point. And do you remember what, what was this picture taken for? There was some man who sold furniture and I had to go and pose on furniture. But I, I look, <laughs> I think, he, I think he was a bit was weird. So it was a because that's when you say it like that, it sounds super pervy and weird. So that's the right angle. Yeah. So some dude who had a furniture company was like, yes. come over and take pictures on the furniture. And then you're like, you're pretty yeah. close. Can you see the chaise lounge in there? And he's like, yes, Ben. Yes. yes. You're like, that just yeah. feels like my head. He was like, shut up. Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you the rest of that story as well. When we're no, not you cannot be take. This is what. this. No, no. I can't tell you. I can't Why? Tell you. Was he just super weird? I think he was. I didn't realize, but yes. Nothing um, ever happened between you two. Oh, no. So, oh, no. So you can say what happened. What, I, I mean, was it crazy? Yes. What, it was something that he did but later you, in life? What will, you, will you edit it out then, if I tell you? I'd rather not. Well, his wife came around and asked me if he had asked me to pose without underwear. <laughs> Ah, well, 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 what the fuck? That's crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, so was he like... was totally weird. So he totally was a guy who had a furniture store, would invite pretty women he there. Made, and... he, had, he actually made furniture. Oh, he, made he made the made... furniture. And then yeah. he would just creep out women who were far younger than him by saying, come pose on the furniture. And probably he was grooming you for an underwearless shoot and his wife kind of blew up his scene. Wow, what did you say? I was so naive. I, 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 just, I was just mortified. I, yeah. I couldn't, that she was, you know, she, she said that he'd done it with somebody else and she was wondering if he was doing it with me. And, and I, was, I was just, I was so embarrassed and ashamed. That and is it, crazy. Yeah. yeah, and then he started to ask Hillary to come in on the shoot and this And were you of, like, Somewhere. Oh, she did do it. Did you yeah, tell her about did. the underwearless no, question? Neither of us knew at that point, you know, what what was going on. We, I mean, I was really pretty naive, I think, you know, which doesn't sound no. like me, but you know. No, at least at least you did not take off your underwear. Um, no, and Willie never asked me. She said did he ask No, no. So anyway, when, I think when you were do when you were doing the shoot, was it creepy? Was he creepy? Yeah, it, it seemed odd. It I seemed odd. I, it does seem yeah. odd to ask someone yeah. to come and pose for furniture and then be this close on their face. Yes, and there's and and there's pictures somewhere. I think I think I might have, but somewhere there's pictures of me posing on the furniture. You know, so and I'm sure he never used them. I think it was just an excuse. But yeah, yeah. But anyway, the, oh, what a weirdo. Yes, yes, yeah. And it, it was um, also such a different. It was such a different time. Like. 
I, you know, not, men obviously still get away with a ton of shit now, but they're, it, they're called out a little more. They, but they can still get away with way too much shit. But back then it was, it was, a, it was, it was stranger, right? I mean, it was sort of like, did, you could, could you really say anything? I mean, it just felt you're young well, and this guy's a creep. I, I, well, I think there were, in those days, I mean, and every, every person I've spoken to, including my sisters, I mean, we all had incidents and yeah. quite a few where there were really, really strange things, you know, that, I mean, yeah. I'll tell you some of my things. And, and, and you would mention it to mum and mum would say, oh, well, you know, just... It's just, just his way. Yes, yeah, they don't mean anything or, you know, right. we've all had that. Right. But I think what's happened now is that... Um, uh, because it's all come out in the open. But I think every single person of my age that, I, that we've all spoken about it, we had something like that. There's things that happened today we had happened then, but you just, just No, ignore. I honestly, most women that I'm friends with, I feel like have had something, you know? Mm, it's, just, yeah. it's just crazy. Anyway, it's crazy. Well, anyway. speaking of, speaking of um, beautiful photo shoots, this is when I was in, um, do you remember what this is? I do, but I can't remember the play. Um, was it Fiddler on the Roof? No, that was my first play was Fiddler on the Roof where I played, uh, uh, my name is Yaakov. And yes. it was an invented part to give me a line. But that was my, this was Charlotte's Web. This was in Charlotte's oh, Web. Is that Charlotte's uh, Web? Yes, oh. and I had my heart set on playing the pig role, which is why I look like a pig boy. <laughs> But I was not given the pig role. I was given the role of the farmer. I can't remember his name, farmer something. The guy who's like, we're going to kill that pig. And then someone's like, there's, there's someone, somebody wrote something in their spider web. And I was like, well, uh, Rick and I give it another shot. I'll never forget my one line was, where'd he go? How'd he get away? Um, and look I, at you now. <laughs> oh, yes, look at me now. Yeah, it's doing so much better. Um, yeah. Well, what was it? Was it because I, I'd always had my heart. I mean, at a very early age, I knew what I wanted to do. I mean, I remember being probably six years old and being in a French play uh, where I wore a lovely ensemble, uh, where I was, it was Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And I had like two lines in it, but I remember getting laughs as a six year old. And I remember it doing something to me that kind of just fucked with the wiring of my brain where it was like, boom, I knew so early the world I wanted to be in, you know? And so I tried to do theater and I tried to do all that stuff. And I, you were raising a real little theater kid. Uh, was it, was it weird? Was it weird in any way? Did, was it? No, oh, no. Cause you write from a little boy. Yeah. You, you always wanted to be an actor actor you'd always say oh, I remember also as a kid I remember you so clearly saying to me once um you're such a character and I thought <laughs> I remember I said well like Donald Duck and you laughed and I you know um but I remember that clearly I also actually I actually think that took place in Florida that memory of mine and yes. and I thought I thought that we had gone to Hawaii until I was about do you remember this one until I was about 27 and we were at the Improv Olympic where I used to do improv and you were yeah. there and someone mentioned Hawaii. And I said, well, you know, when I was in Hawaii and you said, when did you go to Hawaii? And I said, well, we went when I was a kid and you were like, that was Florida. And so I thought I'd gone to Hawaii until I was about 20. I've never been to Hawaii, but I've been to Florida many times. But do you, I mean, yeah, I always found that very funny. We were in Fort Lauderdale, but I was like, Honolulu is gorgeous. This is wonderful. Yeah. Um I just remember when you were little, I think we talked about this the other day, that you wanted to change your name to Spike. Spike was what I wanted to you legally were, change. My you name were to. determined and you wouldn't be Gareth. No, no, don't call me Gareth. I, I'm, and you had a little lisp and you go, I'm Spike. I had Spike. a lisp? Well, you were sort of like that. I want to be Spike. Wow. I, didn't, <laughs> I don't remember the list. I remember asking you to let me legally change it and you telling me yeah. no, that I no. would regret it. I can see you standing in your little yellow cable knit jumper, you know. <laughs> Call me Spike. <laughs> I want to be Spike. Let me be Spike. Yeah. Um, well, this is a picture you and I have actually seen recently. But this is, uh, this is when I came into the world. And... Uh, <laughs> That's so this is me finding out about 2020. 
Yeah, look at your lovely lips, though. Look <laughs> at those just lips. Go gorgeous lips. They are just beautiful. You look like you've got collagen in them. Yeah, no, it looks like the whole face, the below the nose looks like there's a lot of collagen in there. <laughs> uh, I, I, look at, I look at that and I go, that, that picture makes me feel so old because of the little chair I'm in. That yes. pattern to me is like, that pattern should not have existed in my lifetime. Like, I feel like, I feel like I've missed that pattern, but there I am sitting into it. Well, I used to bring you down because you used to get up so early in the morning. You went for years, you did. Yeah. And I used to bring you down and put you by the sink and I'd do the washing up and I'd have you there in his little bouncy chair, giving you a little, a little bounce. And I, will, I woke up early, really my whole life. I mean, I, was uh, yeah. I used to wake up insanely early. I still wake uh, up pretty yeah. early, but I used to wake yeah. up at what time? Uh, we're usually about um, four o'clock and you carried on doing it. And if it did get to five, you'd call up the stairs and you'd go, are you still in bed? Yeah, well, I mean, you were wasting the day. Let's be honest, you were letting the day. <laughs> told me, some customers told me, they said, why don't you try putting a bowl of cereal and some milk for him, which I did. And they thought that would keep you entertained along with the television. Well, you'd get downstairs at whatever time, half past four, eat your cereal and milk and still start calling up the stairs. Was I still in bed? <laughs> oh, it's so, Jose will wake me up from like sleeping and I'm always like, what a little prick. I mean, you must've just been going crazy. I remember, I remember literally turning the, the TV on and sitting there and watching wide eyed, waiting for Nickelodeon to start. Like they would start probably at five and some yeah. nights I'd be, some days I'd be down there at three forty-five, and I would have it on and you'd have the hum of a black screen TV, but it was on cause it had the hum. And then there would be this weird sort of pipe thing that would start. Like it was like, you know, they turn the factory on and Nickelodeon was starting and, they, and I'd see the pipe starting and I'd be like, Oh, TV. <laughs> yeah. Four o'clock. It's four o'clock, baby. Uh, well, I I brought, when I brought you to England when you were little, I mean, nobody could believe that you didn't sleep. And everybody, like Jean Reynolds and my mother and Hillary, they were all... <coughs> um, oh, wait till he gets to England. He'll be fine. We'll take care of him. Yeah, they were like, you don't know how to be a mother. No, and they were all like, oh. Hmm. Well, good luck with this little shit. Yes, yes, yes. When are you leaving? Yeah. And I but at school, when they'd have sleepovers, they didn't want you at the sleepovers because you woke everyone up so early. Well, it's funny because in my life, they didn't want me at sleepovers when I was that age. And then when I got older, because I was a bad kid, they didn't want me at sleepovers. You were a bit naughty. So I, never, I think I probably had about a three or four year grace period where I was actually allowed to go you to ran sleepovers. Yeah, I was allowed to. Yeah, exactly. I was allowed to go to sleepovers. And then eventually I was cut out again. I mean, I really in high school was not allowed to hang out with any, remember that, with any oh. of my friends. I was not allowed to hang out with any of my friends. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I was friends with the kids at another school where my friends were and, and we were yeah. bad kids. But at my school, I was not allowed to hang out with any kids. It was fucking no, crazy. no, you weren't. You I was weren't. blackballed. I think you uh, were. Black Friday bald. All right, let's have another one of your pictures then. Let's have a look. Okay, well, this is, uh, you wanted to see some of me. This is me. Where, now, where, now, when you, oh, that's adorable. When you're, where are you holding them off at first? You start, you start and you go like this. You go, yeah, and then you I think find got, it. I don't know whether I got my iPad upside down, perhaps. Well, who knows what the hell's happening. So <laughs> anyway. it should be called your iPam. Um, yeah. Anyway, all right. That well, that is you. That, now, that's you again with that shorter hair. So that, yes. that's the hair that Grandpa referred to you as Peter yes, Pan. Yes, Peter Pan. And, that we, and I was absolutely heartbroken. That my hair was like that. That they'd cut. I think Mum would take me to a barber's mm -hmm. and get you a shave I, and a cut. Yeah, yeah. And I think they'd cut it that short. And, and then I remember Dad came in. I was so upset with my hair. And he walked into the dining room. He walked in. Oh, we went. Hello, Peter Pan. You and I'll only use a sachet of shampoo between us. Yeah. So I saw it even more then. <laughs> you, you've mentioned that one of the previous one, I believe. Uh, but it's Did I, a, a, yes, a sachet of shampoo. Yeah, well, in those days, you'd get a little, you know, little sachets like that. You didn't get big bottles like you get now. You would buy the small bottle? No, you, they were little sachets. They'd be about that size. But um, what, 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 is and, it, what does it mean it's a sachet? What does that mean? Um, I don't know. A little pouch. Like that, a and little... that's what they were sold in? Yes. Yeah, yes, that's right how you bought your shampoo. Do you know what? what? I've just spotted of one me of lounging on the settee. Oh gosh. Oh wow. 
<laughs> Wait a second, can you see? Yes, yes, yes. Don't worry. Wow. So he wow. This is this is your first groom shoot. Yeah. Wow. yeah. By the way, the furniture looks very nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that looks like a comfortable couch, but but yes, the idea does. that that was needed yeah. in any way is so creepy. Yes, yes, it's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I just spotted it. Do you want another one of you and I? Sure, I'm still a little bit shocked. Oh, this one is so good. Your hair, I, the oh, both yeah. of us here, I mean, the two of us, it, you look like an evil puppet who stole, you look like the person who Rumpelstiltskin gave the baby to. <laughs> okay, put the picture down, we've got it. And what are you feeding me there? My government sachet of gruel? And probably, yes, your, your allowance. Yes, your daily allowance. My daily allowance. Of... I put the date on the back. July 1980. Yeah, wow. Why but is your you hair like that? Seven months. Um, you I don't know. Yeah, why, why is your hair like that? I don't know, because look at my hair here. That's way better. It's normal <laughs> hair. Oh, is that when we went and got Winston? Yes, be. yes, that's, that's Winston. We, that's we got yeah, the dog, yeah. Old. yeah, or I am. Well, one of yeah. you. Who knows? Um, yes. Why was your hair in the previous picture like that? What what kind of hairstyle is that? I think I, I think because it was shorter, and I think I used to used to like um, smack it, you know, smack it onto my head to try to get it straighter because it was curly yeah. and I didn't so like it. Yeah, but look at this. Look at this one too. I what this one's like a, a great big hair look at the big hair there yeah there you've got real helmet hair yeah that is yeah. that's nice yeah. that's soul glow yeah that that would be that would probably be the 80s i would think is that that's you the 90s. That, that's the is 90s. that the 90s do you think yeah. yeah i like that cardigan i wonder where it is oh uh, no it's a shame isn't it probably at the and furniture the... guy's place <laughs> no he didn't want that no <laughs> wasn't in the cardigan <laughs> um and then look. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's you and your and mother. I. We were. That is in. Can Droitwich. I guess? Oh, okay, go ahead. Well, it's in Droitwich, and it's. Um, I don't think it's there, but they were the brine baths. They were salty baths. Oh, so you'd float more. Is it? And you'd float, and if you've got any cuts on you, oh, all right, gosh. you can pop it down, Mum. Yeah, they were. You'd be really sore. Well, it's very yeah. nice. I, I always want to know that people getting in the salt bath are full of sores. <laughs> it's always a good feeling. <laughs> Well, that's in a, yeah. There you look, go. Find it. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's the big hair. Stunner. Big hair Stunner. <laughs> very pretty. Very pretty. How Isn't old are you there? Um, I would probably be probably about nineteen, twenty, something okay. like that. I would have just had Nick. Have you got some? I have a couple more. Yeah. I've got. See, I've got. Oh, oh. Let's. Uh -oh. When you you do, no, you do the next one. Then we'll do this one. The article. Oh, great, great. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, I this one it. to me is just funny. This is your wedding picture, and it looks oh, like yeah. it's badly in the light, but that's just, it's just a very faded picture. But you, yeah. it's very, you look, you look different in that picture to me. And that was your, was, big of, that was your big wedding day. I was full of sherry. And you were drunk on your wedding day. And I was yeah. a little bit tipsy, I think, yes. You said yeah. you, you've claimed to be drunk. Yeah, I think I was. Yes, yes yeah. you were drunk. And you, what did you drink? You drank a bunch of vodka. Um, well, we we went next door, Hillary and I, because she was the, my bridesmaid, and um, and I said to Hillary, "Should we have a little drink?" And in those days, we didn't really drink very much, and and neither of us really knew. And she went next door, and all she could find was vodka. So she did us a great big mug of vodka, and we drank that between us, neat. But then, right before the ceremony, then, then we your went dad, back. I, and we walked in and dad said, oh, my word. He said, you two look beautiful. Would you like a sherry? And dad didn't do little sherries. He did great big, they were called schooners. So we had a great big schooner of sherry as well. Wow. So we were. So he gave you we a chasse of sherry. Sherry. And, a, and, a, and we drank this mug, mug of vodka between us. And instead, and when I got down the aisle, um, I think Peter would agree with this. And he, instead of looking at me and going, you look beautiful, he went, you smell like a brewery. <laughs> but you hadn't had any beer, so that's not fair. Uh, no, I was watching. What, 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 you smelled like a like distillery, a really. Kill. Yes. Yeah, that's what you actually smelled like, <laughs> yes. to be fair. Uh, all right, let's see, let's see this okay. article. Now, now, let's just set this up very quickly, because yeah, okay. this we showed the picture last week, and this is of um, you, we have your sister, 
Oh, we've not. I thought. I no. think I showed the picture no, we, last week. No, we did this between Nick and Sunday with Nick. No, and no, I found... and I did it. I did it on the last one as well. Oh, did I showed, you? Did... I showed the okay. picture, not the article. But okay. so this is when we made the paper because you yeah. were bringing me back from America to be I'm baptized. Glad, yeah, okay, great. Article. Yes, absolutely. So let's see the picture first. Okay. okay. There you go. Perfect. Yep. That you put your hand nicely big. over my face, which is, you gave me the oh, phantom sorry. of the opera face. Oh, no, no, you need to see your face because you look so sweet. Uh-huh. Oh, look there. Lord. Oh, I look like I just finished a crab leg buffet. You weren't happy being in the paper, were you? Oh, why now, what you're doing that? right now is you're looking for your glasses and you're stunned that they're not oh, on your head. I've got them. You're stunned <laughs> that they I weren't on your head. I was panic stricken. I thought I was going to have to stand up. Uh, but I did dress my lower half. I've got a skirt on. Oh, good. Okay. All right. So it says, it, the, the headline is, trip from USA for double service. A starbridge woman, if, if it gets boring, stop me. A starbridge oh. woman, okay. <laughs> no, go ahead. A starbridge woman now living in America traveled thousands of miles so that her son could share a double christening with his cousin. Pamela Reynolds, who now lives in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and her sister Hilary Hayden of Pedmore, decided on a double christening ceremony for their young sons, Gareth and Ross. Pamela her husband, Peter, and son, Nick, left Starbridge for America almost six years ago when Peter's job took him to the States. But when Pamela learned that she was pregnant shortly after the birth of Hillary's son, Ross, the sisters set their hearts on a double celebration with a christening at St. Peter's Church, Pedmore. Although we live in America, I still regard England as my home, said Pamela, 32. Pamela and her family try to spend their Christmases in England with Hilary and her husband, Nigel, and their parents, Joan and Geoffrey Davis, of 55, married and having New Wollaston. <laughs> Which is so crazy. I know. It's I know. so crazy to, in a paper, print to someone's put, home address yeah, like that. Yeah, but, then, but then listen, then it goes, then it says something about natural. Gareth Patrick Reynolds, 12 months, and Ross Alexander Hayden, 18 months, were christened by the Reverend Roland Stockley and kept to keep things in the family, godfather at the event was 13-year-old Nick Reynolds. Pamela and I have always been very close, said Hilary, age 30, of Compton Road, Pedmore. It's it a, seemed only I give her street. <laughs> yes, I know. It's I mean, that would never happen now. No, it? that would be like, then the next day's headline would be like, people from yesterday's story murdered. That's what would happen in the next one. And then... <laughs> Woman at 55 Meriden Avenue. Yeah, yeah. Hey, good oh. news. Uh, 55 <laughs> Meriden's got no residence any longer. I was kicking the bucket. Hey, they're gone, they are. Yeah, we live there now. <laughs> We're scrumping. Oh, dear. Um, so and then that got picked up by other papers. Another paper because they came from another paper, the Express and Star. And I don't know where that article went, but there was another article that they did. I mean, just hilarious. It, it so, really yeah. is amazing to think that the news used to be that level of interesting. Um, but you've got to remember, this is a local paper. Still. This, is, this isn't one of the national papers. The Guardian picked it up, I thought you said. No, 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 no. it was called the Express and Star. Look, um, that, I'd like to see this of the three sisters. This is me and my sisters. Oh, and that's on Hillary's wedding day, it looks like. Hillary's wedding day, yeah. Right. And yeah. she's wearing a, a wedding hat. That seems she's, like wearing, that. she's wearing the dress as well. She wanted to wear oh, the yeah, same. Yeah. I wanted her to. Well, she did. Oh, she's wearing your dress? She's wearing my dress and my hat. Oh, yes. that's the same hat. Is it, it seems strange to wear a wedding hat. Because, yeah, you've got a hat on that one. It's, is that weird? Yeah, but I, did, I didn't want to anything to, you know me. I didn't want to look like Well, everybody. to be fair, you were shit-faced. What did you know? You probably just <laughs> took it up as someone's head who was riding by on a horse or something. <laughs> no, she wasn't on this one. Hillary was sober. Nigel made her be sensible. I was the one that led her astray. Well, yeah, you went first. You were, were you the first of your sisters to get married? Uh, no, Angie was the first. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere I've got a picture of Angie um, getting married. Oh, and then I thought you'd like like to see that one. I don't know whether you've seen that one before. Look, that's me in a Green Bay. Can you see it? Uh, yes. Now it was freezing a little. Oh yeah, in a Green Bay Packers sweater. Look at you. Yes. Yes, with my Your mother. Lovely mother. Yes. Nanny Joan. Nanny Joan. No yes. longer with us. Yes. No, no. She's in the stars. No. Yeah, but she'd love to think all these pictures were being shown of her. Well, that's what we've, we've said when we've, we've done these before. I think there is something so beautiful about pictures like this, because when you think about it, when you pass away, you are physically gone. 
but then yeah. it's sort of like, well, what is your soul? What is, you know, what are you after you pass away? And I think in many ways, the way that you keep someone alive is through memories and fondness and what the recalling, you know, the sensation of being around that person or the person's joie de vivre or, you know, just really their, their essence. Um, that's how you kind of remain alive. And so when you look at pictures like this in this way, it does make me feel like you've you're preserving someone in, you know, in, in reality, mm. even though it's a little mystical, you know? Little, yeah, yeah. And my lips still looking puffy. I'm glad you were focused on that. I'm glad what, that that was, uh, I'm glad that you were able to focus on what was being talked about. There's no, no I did Mick Jagger your lips. Here's one of grandpa and uh, Russ and I, that's me passed out, oh. belly up, Russ with his that reading sweet? with his Look eye patch. I think what's so funny about so many of our family photos, I'm sure it's the same for everybody of that era, that it always seems to be we've got party hats on from crackers. Yeah, we well, whenever we were in England, you and I together, it was it was always festive. I mean, I look back yeah. on Chris, Christmas to me has such a value and a meaning uh, because I when I think back, it was we spent so much. I mean, it was just amazing times. Just I was hanging yeah. out with my best friend who was my cousin. Yeah, you know, you got presents. It was snowing. Nobody had to go to school. It was just, it's just so great. And, yes, you know. yes, it was it was a lovely time. It was a lovely time for me to come back and be with the family because we were all together. And and then every you know. time we'd come back, we'd make the paper. They'd say two more Americans here. Yes, at this yes. address. Go see them. <laughs> just open the door. There are no laws or rules. Do whatever you and like. You, and you know they've always got crackers because they've always always got party hats on their heads. Take whatever you want from their house. Take them. Have at it. Here's a map. Here's a key. Go print this key. <laughs> Ask uh, for I'm, Jeffrey. I'm out. So if you, you, maybe we'll do one more. Okay, let me, let me find a really good one. What do you want? Do you want, do you want one of you? Uh, I, it's up to you. Dealer's choice. Um, What's oh, good one? I thought this was really rather interesting. Um, I know this is my mother, but... I thought wait a minute. There it is going way out, wildly out of frame again. Can you see? Yes, yes. yes now yes. I just wanted to say that my mother, um, I think I've told you this, she worked, um, she was born in St. Leonard's in Hastings, and she worked for judges' postcards, and she always used to tell us Fred Judge taught her, and this is how they colored photos. So mm -hmm. so mom was a photo colorer, and that's what she colored. And not yeah. a lot of people know this, but she's got a a jacket full of carrots stolen from the pasture behind her. <laughs> More than likely knowing my mother. Yeah. 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 So she colored black and white. You can put it down. We've, mm. we've seen. Yeah. Yeah. So she colored black and white photos. She colored the black and white photos. And there's a beautiful picture I've got, um, but I won't get it now, that um, that she she colored of, she did flowers and everything. Mm. So, and so she was born in 19. 20 so she would have probably been about so probably in the 30s late and 30s she grew up very poor um no not really mum we don't really know though. yeah we don't, we don't well, she really was adopted know. yes yes and um, her, her um adopted or foster parents whatever they were they had a bed and breakfast but I mean it oh. sounds very grand in those days but it wasn't you know right. it, wasn't okay. it was very okay. humble yeah okay. yeah uh, yeah. All right. Well, that'll, that'll be the last one for this week. Is there anything okay. else you'd like to say? Uh, no, it's, uh, no, it's just. Do you have any, are you doing any live shows coming up? Would you any dates you'd like to promote? Uh, no, I haven't really got anything. What about you? I also have no dates. We're doing a no, live I... dollop on uh, November 19th, but you'll be in bed. Are you? you can watch it the next day. Yeah. Oh, good. Do I have to have a ticket? I'll get you the, the thing. Yes. Will you get me a ticket? Oh, yes. that's good. That's yeah. good. Oh, look, wait a minute. Just one more look. Oh God! They, wow, Jesus God! Look, There's the hat so again. Drunk. Do I? No, I'm. You are. I don't know. You said you were. Well, you I, don't look I, drunk, other than the fact that you've got a bunch of tissues on your head. <laughs> that was my expensive hat. Go. You can put it down. I need to hold it up there, Zola. Your expensive uh, wedding hat. Yes, my expensive wedding hat. Anyway. anyway um, looks so like, well, by the way, just so you know, your wedding hat looks like someone put a diaper on your head. Oh, okay. Well, I just want to be honest. I thought I looked quite nice, actually, to be honest with you. No, you, got some bad um, you look, no, you look it, nice on a lot of them. But, but not that uh, 
Well, not it that... looks nice, but you know, you've got the look weird. paper hat. Yeah. The yeah. hat's weird to me. Yeah. But then again, when yeah. I look at the wedding pictures, it's all very weird. Just I wonder weird. if Hillary's I wonder if Hillary's still got the hat. I think she's still got the wedding dress. I think she, I think it's in uh, this in is the something lock. I would love. What's for that? One of the future ones of these for you to get that hat and wear it. I'll ask her if it's there. I'll ask her if it's there. there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know what I was going to say to you what? about Dave. Um, you want to, might want to cut this off eventually. Um, but next week, Hillary and Nigel will be here on the Wednesday. Oh, well, it might be a little chaotic, I would worry. It would be uh, very chaotic. But do you think it would be fun? It could be fun. Let's, let's, uh, we think about it? we'll think about it. Yeah, we'll think about it. That's, that's interesting. We'll definitely yeah. do that at some point. Yes. So maybe yes. maybe next week. If not, we'll do it soon after. We'll see. People will probably comment, but it'll probably be out. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. All right. We'll do it. Let's do it. E even if we did like ten minutes or something. Yeah, we can do a ten minute part of that. Yes. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So um, right. Well, if that was very nice. And if anybody knows anything, how to get your lips lips puffy, big without the stuff in them. That uh, collagen good. you don't want the weird lips I've never understood the lip surgery no it's I think it's strange. really strange yeah oh, it seems strange but um, still, all right mum all my love okay love thank you and thank you very thank much you. indeed I'll, and I'll talk to you tomorrow yes all right love you try love bye you too. Oh, cheerio